Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Los Angeles at the Adidas Nations with Yogi Farrell of Indiana. Yogi, how is uh, Adidas Nations treating you so far? Man, it's treating me well. Just uh, come out here in L.A. Uh, with some of my teammates to just get to know some of the other college guys, uh, learn a lot of things from these coaches, But uh, so it's a great experience. What was your mindset going into this weekend here? Uh, my mindset was just to go out here, you know, show my talent, um, show what I can do on the court, and go out here and just make new connections with uh, these other college players. How do you find the blend between running a team, getting other guys involved, and also showcasing what you can do as a scorer at the same time? Yeah, well, that's where you just got to mix it up. You know, some guys want to come here, and they're going to be selfish off the bat, of course. But, you know, once they get in the flow of things, they know they can't do it by themselves. So you just got to make them happy first, and then, you know, I'll showcase what I can do. So that's what I try and do when I get on the court. You guys have a really talented team um, going into the next season in Indiana. What's your role going to be for that squad? Uh, my role is going to be the veteran senior leader, basically. You know, I've been there going in my fourth year, so I know exactly how Coach Kareem wants it. I know, you know, from down to a T. So these guys are just going to have to listen to me, take them under my wing, and, you know, it's just rock. How are things going to be different for you this upcoming year as opposed to years past? Well, as years past, you know, we weren't, you know, preseason favorites, but now, you know, we're top 25. So my freshman year, number one, and now being top 25, my last year, you know, we kind of got a little bullseye on our back. So, I mean, all we can do is just not, you know, worry about all that, worry about the hype, worry about what everybody else is saying about us, um, and just go out there and just play, play how we can play. What kind of summer have you had so far? Uh, I've had a great summer, man. We just got done with summer school like two days ago and took a trip out here. But this summer's just been straight work, just with my teammates. Getting to know the freshmen, the transfers, everybody. Just, you know, setting plays in and uh, just working out a lot. What do you need to do to reach your full potential as a basketball player? What do you need to improve on? Uh, what I need to improve on is mixing my game up. Uh, that shows in, you know, being a facilitator and a scorer at the same time. You know, I got to go out there and, uh, you know, just show I can be a winning point guard, basically. So I think that's the main thing that, you know, these people, you know, in the NBA want to see is somebody who can win. So, I mean, that's the main thing. So, you know, I'm going to do everything I can, get my shot right, my passing, my decision making, I can to be a winning guy. Talking to the teams here, they say they love your athleticism, they love your shooting ability, they love your leadership skills. They question your size, the one thing that you can't really control. What can you do to prove to them that you can make it at your height? What I need to prove to them is, you know, I got to be a lockdown defender. So, you know, I'm trying to pick up the ball full court, you know, just to show these guys that I can defend at a high level. So, I mean, that's the main thing. You know, I got to average, you know, two, three steals a game just to know, you know, let them know that I'm, I'm basically there defensively. So, I mean, that's the main thing. You know, I got to get my strength up, especially at the size that I'm at. So I say I just got to be there defensively, and I got to have that uh, strength. Let's say five, ten years from now, what's the biggest thing that's going to stick from you from um, playing for Coach Crean? Uh, the biggest thing that's going to stick for me, I say the work ethic. Um, but that, that basically goes hand-in-hand hand hand with, you know, the dreams that you want to do. But at Indiana, we work every single day. You know, something that stuck with me is how he says, you know, do something daily to, you know, go forward in life or become a better person, whether it is going to church, uh, doing something in school, doing something in basketball, you know, be a 365-day guy and just perfecting yourself or perfecting your craft. What's it like playing at a school like Indiana with such a storied history is it a lot of pressure sometimes uh i say you know it's a little bit of pressure but we know at the same time indiana fans been there when it's great and they've been there during the dark days so we know what the fans want i mean we we want they want it just as bad as us basically so we know we're gonna have the fans behind our back you know 100 percent and you know we know indiana's a winning school so we want to try and bring that winning history back to indiana great stuff yogi thanks so much appreciate it good luck Thank you